The Mona Lisa was once stolen and it was pretty easy. Before her sudden departure, the Mona Lisa was displayed inside the Louvre Museum in Paris. But on the morning of August 21st, 1911, everything changed. The Lisa had vanished. But how? A patriotic Italian man named Vincenzo Perugia had worked at the gallery fitting art with protective glass. After discovering France looted Italy's vast art collection during the Napoleonic era, Perugia, now angry, decided to step in and return the stolen art back home. That art, being the Mona Lisa, was actually sold to France in 1519 which Perugia hadn't figured out. However, his plan was set. On that August morning, the Louvre was closed for staff maintenance. Wearing a white smock to blend in, Perugia enters the museum. He navigates to the salon car where the Mona Lisa hangs out. Once alone, he grabs the painting and removes its frame and glass. Perugia rushes down a stairway and meets a locked door. Sadly, the copied key he brought was ineffective. Unexpectedly, a plumber then encounters Perugia and opens the door for him thinking he's a fellow employee. Perugia leaves through the main entrance and boards a train out of Paris. Mission complete. Believe it or not, 